this video, we're going to go over a small and hidden feature in 3D Coat, but one that is relatively important to keep in mind anytime you're working with a single sided object in 3D Coat's Sculpt workspace. Now, as you may already know, you have two major modes to work with in this environment. One is voxels, which is volumetric pixels. And the second one is surface mode, which means you're working strictly with polygons and that's it. So each mode has its own advantages and its own trade-offs. So when you import a model into 3D Coat and it's single-sided like this model is, and you decide you want to voxelize it, you're going to have some difficulty unless you apply some degree of thickness. And the reason for that is, just as in the real world, there are no single-sided objects. Everything has some level of thickness to it. So this is the case with voxels. Now when I try to apply this or commit this preview object to a layer that's in voxel mode, you'll see the results. It's, it's somewhat undesirable. And that's because 3D Coat doesn't really know how to treat it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is look at a way to remedy this particular problem. So I'm going to create a new layer here. And I can see that it's in volume mode with the little V next to the layer. And now in the tool options panel, I'm just going to hit apply and that's going to commit this preview object. 3D Coat is going to leave this preview object in place until you choose another tool. Okay, and as you can see, this is rather undesirable. This is not the effect I wanted. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo. So how then would we bring a single sided object like this into this environment and voxelize it upon import? What we would need to do is check import with thickness. Before we do that though, I want to add a quick side note. Anytime you're importing a model into 3D Coat, nine times out of 10, you may want to bring it in as a surface mode object. And the reason for that is you don't have to be concerned with scale or layer resolution like you do with voxels. And it will also come in looking exactly like it did in your host application when you exported it, okay? Nonetheless, for demonstration's sake, we want to voxelize this object as we import it in. So we first need to be cognizant of two considerations. One is the scale of the object. The other is the resolution on the layer itself. Because voxels are volumetric pixels, it works much the same way as does a document or an image in Photoshop. Meaning, if you want a high level of resolution, you need to start with a large canvas or a large size document. Alternatively, you could keep the same document size, like eight and a half by 11, a standard letter, and increase the resolution of that document from 72 dots per inch to something like 150 or 300 or more. So once more, this is the same concept you'll find when working with voxels in 3D Coat. If you scale this object up before you commit it, then it's the same thing as having a larger document size. You're automatically going to have more resolution the larger this model is. But it also means there's a little bit more trial and error. When it comes in, if it's still a little bit rough, you may have to make a few attempts to get it right. Also, if I don't want to fiddle with the scale, then I need to increase the resolution on the layer itself before I commit this preview object to a layer so that it has enough resolution to maintain the shape of the model that's coming in. So let's go ahead and apply a little bit more resolution to the layer first. And hit apply once more. And even though this is not the effect we want, you can see we have more resolution. It maintains the overall shape much better. And if I zoom in and hit the wireframe hotkey, I can get a better visual inspection of the resolution. So I'll go ahead and clear that. This time, what I want to do is choose Import with Thickness. And if I zoom in, you have a preview here. You can adjust the inner thickness and the outer thickness. 
now let's hit apply and that's our newly committed object here I have a little bit of roughness at the top I need to clean up so let's go to an orthographic view a front view in the adjust section I'm going to choose cut off with the rectangular lasso selection mode chosen make sure ignore back faces is unchecked because I want to cut all the way through just gonna make a selection here at the top trim that off and I can smooth a few times by clicking smooth all and there we have it so what I'm going to do now is hide that layer and this time I'm going to uncheck that import with thickness and I'm just going to bring this in as a surface mode object I'm going to click next to the layer on this little V here on this in new empty layer and when I see an S I know that I'm in surface mode for this object so when I hit apply it's going to come in just as this model was when it was saved you can zoom in toggle wireframe if I click on the S icon in order to convert the layer to voxel mode even if I give it quite a bit of resolution let's say 1 million you can see we get the same result as we did when we simply imported the model into voxel mode let me hit control Z to undo since we had the same problem as when we imported the model directly into voxel mode we need the same solution so I'm going to right click on the layer and choose thickness I'm going to look at the resolution on this and see if it's enough yeah it should be okay let's try point seven the default value will be four but in this case that's way too much for uh, this particular object so okay again we have that same problem here up top I'll just switch over to voxel mode and clean this up a bit I'll try 1.2 million front view use the cutoff tool make sure ignore back faces is unchecked and I can hit the space bar choose smooth all and if you use this command quite a bit you may want to assign a hotkey to it I'm going to hover over it and hit the end key on the keyboard and I'm going to assign shift S to it and then that way I can just use my hotkey to continue to smooth it and before I finish I want to maybe bring up the question that might be asked at this point and that is well why would I want to switch to voxel mode well you'll probably find the more you work in this environment that when you're doing boolean type of operations voxel mode is the preferred method because 3d code has to do a lot less calculations it's only having to calculate the voxel volume so basically it's just turning on and turning off volumetric pixels in 3d space and then remeshes that volume with an adaptive mesh and it does it very quickly so there's almost no fuss at all when you're doing boolean type operations with voxels it's extremely efficient at that particular task however with surface mode because you're dealing with vertices and polygons and whatnot then you're going to have more issues especially self intersections and so on and that's really not a problem with voxels now that's not to say that you can't capably perform cutting type of boolean operations while in surface mode for example you can use the cutoff tool or the poly remove tool in order to either trim or create an opening in your mesh and it does it fairly well but it's still much faster to do in voxel mode the main difficulty surface mode has is when merging objects together you may find yourself waiting several minutes for it to try and perform the operation sometimes it's successful other times at the end of that wait you'll get self-intersection errors so 
it's always best to once more try and use voxel mode for that operation. And with that, we will conclude this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.